Hello again, it's Jessica, and today I have several cards that I've made using the Santa's Suit stamp set from Stamping Up. These stamps do come in a bundle, so there are matching dies. However, I didn't buy those dies, so I didn't use them the, in the video, but I did fussy cut them. And this card that you're seeing right here, I actually did not show um, how I made that one in this video, but I did show these two cards. Um, and I used background stamps and embossed those. And real quickly, I wanted to show you these ribbons that I picked up from Michaels. I got these locally and the cost is retail is $16.99. Um, I got them on sale I don't know how the final percentage, but I paid $7.45 and it's got this craft color um, combined with the red and I just think it looks um, really nice. And so I thought I'd take the time to show those to you. There are eight rolls of ribbon and 32 yards total. And I made most of those into a little bow right there. And I really like the gingham pattern there. It's red with craft. And then you got the red polka dot and then there's two rolls of twine and I've actually never seen the red and craft twine so I think there's four yards of ribbon per roll yeah so I had to have these ribbons now first of all I'm going to just start with an eight and a half by eleven um, sheet of cardstock and just cut that in half at the five and a half inch mark and I'm actually going to make a gate fold card. And so I'm using this score pal here. And the, the, it's marked um, where to score the card at. It's like two and one eighth or something like that. Okay, it's two and one eighth and six and three eighths is where you score it at. Okay, so first I'm taking some Versamark ink and a background stamp. Um, that is by Hero Arts. It's called Carbonated. And I've got some uh, Recollections red embossing powder. And I really like that um, colored embossing powder. I didn't, I didn't know how that was going to look, but I really love that. And I love the price also. That little blemish right there, I'm going to be cutting the paper. so, And it's not going to show. That's why I didn't try to fix that. Now I took some Sahara sand uh, to the edges and just inked the edges just a little bit. And then I cut the two little panels out there. And I'm going to use some Tombow Mono Adhesive to glue those down. This gatefold card looks complicated, but it really isn't. It's just two score lines, and that's it. Okay, now I don't have the stamping up layering circles, so I got this scallop was from Spellbinders, and that is a two and three quarter inch circle. And I'm taking the Have a Jolly Christmas sentiment there and embossing that in red and melting the embossing powder and then I'm going to stamp the Santa face and his suit on the craft and fussy cut those out and I'm actually decided to emboss those in black so I'm stamping them in with the Versamark ink I ended up really enjoying this stamp set it's got so many little stamps that um, you can uh, make some really cute backgrounds using them. And now I'm actually going to take, um, and for this one, I took the Whisper White and stamped it down first. I wasn't sure um, what the red would look like, but later on I actually stamped the red right onto the craft cardstock and it looks fine. So but I didn't know at this point. But the Whisper White kind of makes it look a little pink. Actually, this stamp, it turned out just fine, but it can make the ink look a little pink instead of red. 
and I'm using real red ink from Stamping Up and I'll include all of the um, supplies that I used and links in the description box below. Now I did take some colored pencils, just a white colored pencil here and um, colored the white in and it worked out really nice. I have just the very basic um, colored pencils that I got from like the dollar store. So any colored pencils are going to work. And I am fussy cutting the images and now I'm just going to glue those down onto the circle. And I'm using Tombow glue to adhere it to the scallop. And then I'm going to use hot glue to adhere the uh, circle to the card base. And there is the finished card. And isn't this Santa so cute? I think it is. And I will say it took me a, several attempts to get his um, face stamped correctly and to learn how to do that. Okay, so that is a retired stamping up background stamp that I have. I'm not sure what that's called, um, but I am, I stamped it with Versamark ink and now I and used white embossing powder from Recollections and, um, and then I melted the embossing powder and I actually had to cut that down because I didn't get it um, squared on the card correctly. And that card base I think is either Sahara sand or crumb cake. It came with a paper pumpkin kit but it is from Stamping Up. Now I'm stamping um, another Santa onto a two and three quarter inch white circle this time. And I embossed the sentiment there in red and I'm just using some black soot distress ink to um, stamp the suit and his face there. And I initially embossed that hat, but then uh, I also, I just ended up going with a real red hat instead of the embossed hat. So I'm melting the embossing powder and then I uh, fussy cut those images and I didn't show that. And I'm using real red ink to color his suit and now I'm going to use the Tombow glue and glue his face and hat down. And um, now I'm attaching it to the card base. And I initially I didn't think I was going to do a voiceover all the way through. So there's both cards again. And I did switch out the card and put it on the to black, onto the black card um, base here. And I actually like that better. It's a personal preference. And the final project here, I didn't actually make this into a card, but I did just create the background and I included it in this video to show you what the uh, colored pencil looks like on, um, on this craft paper. And so I actually marked the middle of the sheet of cardstock. That way I could line these up correctly. And now I'm stamping the boots and I lined those are separate so you can do them one at a time if you just wanted one boot you know for your background you can do it that way as well and I really like how this white colored pencil looks on the this craft card stock so I ended up doing all my projects on the craft paper and there's what it looks like all colored in and I'm not a, um, a color pencil artist by any means, so that's just basic right there. And that wraps this video up. Thanks so much for spending some time with me today. I hope I have inspired you, and if you like my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.